Well, caffeine affects longevity. So when we're talking about balancing our circadian rhythms and getting more in sync with nature, we know that our circadian clocks in humans is controlled primarily by the master clock called the supra chiasmatic nucleus, the SCN, within the hypothalamus of the brain. Now the SCN is a group of cells that sit right next to the optic nerve and they respond to light and other stimuli that come in through our eyes. So when we make those connections now between caffeine and the SCN, there have been some discoveries made in terms of what caffeine and how caffeine is related to our circadian rhythm. So one is that caffeine we know blocks the adenosine receptors that normally reduce something called cyclic AMP levels. We also know that another aspect, number two, is that caffeine binds phosphodiesterase enzymes that act to degrade the cyclic AMP, and when these enzymes are blocked, the CAAMP levels are also raised. We also know that caffeine binds ryanidine receptors, which are regulated by calcium ions in these SCN. So, in different ways, caffeine will decrease our secretion of our melatonin levels, it will affect our circadian rhythms, it will affect that mastermind clock in the SCN, and will affect all of our other body clocks as well. So today I talked all about circadian rhythms and will caffeine affect longevity? So absolutely, if we're not sleeping, if our body clocks are out of sync, we will not live as long, so the answer is yes. So so if you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.